So Chive said, I moved all of my media, and this is the title of the video. I moved all of my media out of iCloud and into Entei Photos. I also convinced a family member and a friend to back up their media on Entei. So if you haven't heard of Entei Photos, it's an end-to-end -end encrypted photos provider. Um, and they're also the same people who develop Entei Auth, if you've ever used their 2FA program. It's pretty solid overall. Not quite as robust and feature-filled as something like Apple, iCloud, Google, et cetera, but it has end-to-end -end encryption and it's fairly safe. And it uh, doesn't come along with some of the concerns that iCloud currently has in the UK. So especially if you're in the UK, this is a great swap to make, but also kind of a hard swap. So I also just want to congratulate Chive for being able to do this because backing up, exporting everything from iCloud takes a long time. Apple's data export does not make things super easy for users, and actually having to migrate that to Entei also takes a lot of time, not just a time commitment, but also a financial commitment, and so just a big win all around. I know these things can take days. I know anytime I have to transfer my entire photo library to a new platform, it's a you know, multiple days of a project for me. Maybe if your library is smaller, it's like a half day, but for somebody who has photos for a long time. It takes a long time to move all that crap to a new place. So um, I just know how hard that can be. So congrats. I also have a family member and a friend who back up their media on Entei. And this is honestly really good too. It's kind of a way of being like, well, you don't have to migrate completely to the service, but do you not want a better backup where you can keep your data in a safe place? So it is kind of a good point that if you're struggling to get someone to migrate completely to a better private or secure service, maybe just sell it to them as a backup. Like, hey, have you ever wondered what would happen if all your photos disappeared or if your Apple account got hacked? Don't you want an easy backup? Well, this one has an easy import and makes it simple for you and you don't have to think about it. So I think that's a good reminder for any of you who might be struggling to get um, any of your friends or family to migrate to another uh, provider, whether it's a messenger, whether it's photos, whether it's uh, files, documents, whatever you want. Uh, if anyone uses Entei, definitely let me know. I have an account. They gave me a trial account, uh, perhaps longer than a trial, um, that I have access to, and I've used it for a few things, and it's pretty nice, but I haven't fully migrated my entire library to it yet, so I'd be curious for anybody's uh, experiences with Entei. Um, Austin also said, I keep two backups in both Entei and Proton Drive phones. Uh, very smart. Um, again, you never know what can happen to these services, so keeping backups is very smart. So good job, Austin, um, and other people should do that too. If all your photos are only in one place and you don't have a second copy somewhere, please, that should be the takeaway of this video. Get your photos somewhere else. This clip came from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights and how to keep yourself and the people around you safe online, as well as just reclaiming a little bit more ownership. If you enjoy this content, a lot more nuance, and want a little bit more of a deep dive, check out our main channel here on the screen or in the description, and we'll see you there.